What up? Okay, so I just got done watching uh, Yuvraj and Zigzags little video they did together and that was fucking awesome. Shout out to both them fucking cool cats. And this is the end of uh, UV's sun gazing video. And I really enjoyed it. Uh, I really enjoy both these guys. They uh, they both have a lot of intensity <laughs> and energy. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see where we go with this. I just kind of wanted to... First of all, like, I don't really have... There's been there's been a couple videos like my first ones. Um, I would kind of have some things uh, lined up that I wanted, some bullet points, kind of kind of a thing, things I wanted to touch upon. But anymore, I just press play and go and see <laughs> see where it takes us. So yeah, sun gazing. First of all, yeah, I'm just gonna go with like, I'm just gonna go with my feelings and, and just uh, see where we end up. But uh, Sometimes we, we, we feel, the connectedness and, and the sharing and the love, I mean, everything always ebbs and flows, this is just, uh, how, how life works, and, um, it's up to us how we choose to surf, um, those waves, or if we allow those waves to... <laughs> fucking crash into us and we're just plunged into the depths uh, ready or not you know that's and this is the thing this is a, a huge part of the process here of uh, becoming woke and I, I don't use that I just I just did that just just for fun right now but uh, a huge part of this is, is becoming aware of our own cycles and feeling, intuiting where we're heading. And it's not necessarily a conceptualizing thing or just completely analyzing it. Oh, oh no, I know this and this and this and this is going to happen and this and this and this and this means this and this. I know a lot of, a lot of fucking people and, and to be honest, most people are like that because of our programming and indoctrination system that has uh, and trained us to be more caught up in the mental sphere and detached from the body felt connection, the heart space. So uh, it, it's always disheartening for me whenever I'm around people, especially whenever they're people that has done a tremendous amount of inner work, but then uh, they're caught in modes of this and this and this and and just bouncing one thing to another and and this means this and and being very precise and like that that has its place don't get me wrong like w what i seek is always balance between the polarity it's like i keep saying and repeating like uh being within the eye of the hurricane so there's not really uh i don't see things as like good or bad it just it just is and and it's up to you it's up to the individual to how they choose to perceive and intuit something and uh, the meaning that they take from anything. So yeah, like recently, like uh, within the past even just week, like I've had this, these immense feelings of 
opening and I'm, I, I mean I've been witnessing this you know with you guys and and on the people that I connect with on YouTube um, and watching you guys connect and then making a choice to kind of uh, stay in the, the background because because of what I'm feeling uh, right now and that's there's times when I feel like sharing, like like now, and then feel like connecting. And there's times when uh, <laughs> I'm like, "What, what the fuck are you doing?" Because I'm I'm reminded of uh, my pure position and my focus, and basically. Uh, how deep I've already agreed not not just agreed upon but how deep I'm I'm willing to go and this is kind of like the uh the factor here the scale with with everyone is how deep are they willing to go into the depths Because honestly, uh, I'm <laughs> I'm a hermit. Like I am a uh, I am that like uh, anomaly in uh, the the recluse. Uh, that's that's hidden away in the deep green that you never really hear about until uh, a certain time period approaches and then we start to let our messages be heard in uh, various forms but rarely is it ever that we actually come out and ourselves start to share messages so uh, this is a time period unlike any other in that a lot of us are, are coming out have have already come out and so right now <laughs> right now we're kind of witnessing a lot of people playing catch up and this is like the quickening that that we're, we're seeing with so many people happening like uh, uh the accelerated learning and this is because of the accelerated connections that are happening <sighs> so yeah i'm constantly not constantly, I'm deciding wh where to go and, and how to approach certain things. We also have to realize, like, uh, not not all information, um, not everyone is ready for for certain information, and that's and that's fine because we're, we're all at certain levels and uh, stages, and uh, not everyone is able to go as deep as as other people, and there are many reasons for this. A lot of it has to do with uh, traumas. And once you really touch into like our, our, our some of our root traumas uh, collectively, you kind of start to get a better grasp um, on 
why the world is the way it is in that uh, the manipulation and the agendas and the taking advantage upon these open wounds that have been allowed to stay open collectively so that uh, it's easier to control uh, the masses or whatever you want to say. Okay, so that's enough of that. God. <laughs> so, uh, what I wanted to get at is... I can already tell where this is going, energy-wise. Like, wh what I originally wanted to talk about. And where where I'm going with it. So I'm going to save, uh... Some things for future talks. Just because of inspiration. Like, uh... When, when the inspiration is there, like, uh, allow it to come forth. And if it's not, don't, don't force it. Like, just, and this is the thing I was listening on, like, uh, the radio today about, like, uh, this, this guy talking about jazz and improv and the guy that, the radio host that was interviewing him, he was kind of, he was trying to categorize everything and like, oh, you know, hip hop and you do this and you do oh, so many different kind of things. And, and the guy's like. Those, those categorizations aren't, aren't important to me. What's important to me is the process and the flow of what's happening. And, like, <laughs> the host just, like, because of his mentality, you know, he just, oh, okay, so yeah, like, there's no label on jazz. And it's like, ah, uh, it's like, ah, uh, you're using labels to say that there's no label. Ah. Uh. And then he was going on to say, um, How, how he's amazed that like there's so many people that have convinced themselves that they can't do any kind of improv when it comes to like music and so he's like uh, he will accept them up with like he'll give them options of like things to play and he'll be like okay play whatever you want in whatever order but just just go with whatever you want to do and just do it randomly and then he said that those people would be like, I can't do that. But then he said, like, they'll do it anyways. Because, I mean, you could you just do it. And then he'll be like, there you go. That's fucking improv. You chose. You made the choice. And you allowed inspiration to speak through you. And, and, and he also said something that's uh, very accurate, very beautiful. And that's life is improv. It's it's about being in that creative flow, and not not second guessing yourself, not worrying, and just just allowing the flow to happen. And this is also something I'm seeing more and more of with people, and just how fucking beautiful it is. Uh, <laughs> one person that comes to mind with this is uh, Torrens Gardens. If you don't know who that is, check out that channel. <laughs> Shout out to Torrens. Fucking uh, <clears throat> so yeah, basically all I'm going to touch upon right now at this moment, because I have a lot to share with uh, sun gazing and my experiences and whatnot, and we'll get into that when the time comes, and preferably I want to be out in nature so that I can kind of go into it and have those visuals out there with you guys and, and with the rays of the light uh, reflecting and, and bouncing and refracting so that you guys can see all this and hopefully see the rainbows hopefully you guys can taste the rainbow with me <laughs> but uh What's happening with the sun gazing is a uh, purification. It's a pur purification of the sight. It's a purification of, you could say, the pineal gland, uh, pineal gland, or however you want to pronounce that. Pine cone. The pine cone gland. Essentially, it's our inner vision. Our, our, our uh, ability to remember how to see with that second sight, if you want to call it that. So yeah, you're going to see a whole myriad of visuals 
potentially. Especially depending upon certain techniques that you use. You can enhance this. And I also wanted to mention uh, real quick, like because of uh, the last video I did with Wim Hof, um, if you go into Wim Hof and dive into it and even listen to what he says, like he, he will tell you that you will you will go into full blown crazy trip mode whenever you really dive into this. You will see the craziest fucking visuals you have ever seen. And it's just part of it of of going so far inside of yourself and, and accessing certain parts that it just blasts open. Getting high high on your own supply. <laughs> So yeah, like what what I wanted to mention is that you don't need sun gazing to to experience these things. Like you do the Wim Hof method, and 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 when I say Wim Hof method, I just mean like the the guidance that he that he utilizes to to bring people into this state. It's a uh, Tumo. Uh, in in the Tibetan practices, it's uh, certain pranayama breath work that you can utilize. Um, and and, and it, like I said, like there's no labels. It's beyond labels. It's just felt experience. Like, and and the beauty of like reality and creativity in life is that it's all improv and it's all upon you and it's all dependent upon what you choose to create in the moment. You are you. You are the uh, inspiration and the muse and the creator, and it's it's all up to you. You are the orchestrator. You are the instrument, and you are the player of that instrument. You are all of this. You have uh, so many levels and layers of what you think you are. So I, I really encourage everyone to experience for yourself all of the bodies that you have, that you have access to. And then real quick, I want to uh, go into what is happening, what is happening to the uh, pineal gland whenever we sun gaze. Or whenever we even just send blood flow uh, into the pineal gland, into the third eye. Like, you don't need to sun gaze to do this. You can just... You can just uh, focus, and then this is all it ever comes down to: is uh, energy goes where where <sighs> your attention flows. So, if if you and it's the same with blood flow, you can you can uh, have total control of your blood flow. And uh, one thing I will probably keep on mentioning for a while here is certain techniques and uh, starting to access, starting to play with the uh, felt connection, felt experience of your energy system, of, of being in control of, of your electrical system and, and your blood flow. So one method that I would recommend is utilizing your hands. Take one hand and put all of your focus into that hand and feel all of your blood going into that hand and just and just take note of what that feels like. And you could potentially feel a whole multitude of different sensations. And and this uh, is a very similar thing whenever you're uh, either studying Reiki or first getting into it, you'll experience all these weird sensations as well. So, centralize your focus in one hand, and you may feel a pulsing, you may feel uh, intense heat, you may feel tingling, you may feel like a... Uh, gravity collapsing in upon itself, you may feel certain uh, magnetism happening. And then 
shift that over to the other hand and then feel that in the other hand centralize the focus all in the blood flow all into that hand and then and then keep doing this back and forth with your hands and the point of this practice is that once you get good and, and uh more experience and feeling this felt connection of doing this of sending your focused intent and attention to certain points of your body then you can also do this to well I mean any point in your body but especially where I'm getting at with this is your brain you can start to send blood flow into certain areas of your brain this also gets into Wim Hof and what we talked about. This also gets into sun gazing and accessing certain glands. Accessing the pineal gland and, and having blood flow stimulate that. And then, and then having that gravity and that magnetism effect uh, happen in your third eye area. And this can be... Uh, all of this stuff is well beyond words, and, and, and the intensity can be quite alarming at first. But I'm going to go ahead and, and give the advice that Wim Hof gives, and that's go into it. Don't fear it. Go into it. And I also wanted to mention that within the pineal gland and if you look at what the pineal gland looks like it kind of looks like an eyeball uh and that it has the uh a lot of the same features that an eyeball does the uh the cones the the rods and the cones <clears throat> but I will say that, um, and I also wanted to mention, like, uh, Zigzag and Yuvraj was, uh, mentioning water and Yuvraj, and this is also something I kind of have touched upon, also something I want to go into deeper about is, uh, the reality of pain and the manipulation of pain and how we can transform pain, uh, not only just into pleasure, but also just We can, we, we can willingly transform any polarity into the opposing polarity. The point, though, is to not get caught on, any, on either one of those sides, but to find the middle ground, the eye of the hurricane. Because that's where the control is. The energy management, and that's that's what it all comes down to. Energy management, baby. Within and without. As within, so without. You will witness this. Cleanse the lens, 2019. And this is something like a lot of us, all of us that, that connect like deeply, uh, we understand like the more inner work you do, the more inner clean, cleaning you do, like, your your outer perception of, of how you saw the world previously drastically changes to reflect this inner work that you've done. So, uh, yeah, Ziggs talked about uh, water and, and, and uh, water turning into a gaseous form and like, uh, you know, burning things off within the body and how that happens, you know, with heat, with uh, intensified vibration, like we can uh, burn things away essentially with our with our own energy and and, and intense uh, focalized attention. And then Yuvraj was talking about how pain was kind of likened to a liquid. And uh, anything within the body, yes, yes, it's it's all about the uh, degree of the liquid, the 
the uniqueness and quality of that liquid, uh, the purpose of that liquid within uh, the system, because we have so many different systems within our body system, even. Understanding all of the processes. And uh, where, where the problems happen with pain is that we don't allow it to flow and, and be fluid and uh, go just as easily as it came to us. But we, because of our system we've been brought up in, our belief systems, we've been taught to go to someone else for, for help or for understanding about why we are experiencing something uh, within us, why, why we are in pain. <clears throat> but where the pain becomes uh, more intensified and more problematic is that we don't we don't allow the flow we get stagnant with our energy and also the crystallization uh the crystallizations within the body through like calcifications and uh many factors too much sodium too much uh inorganic minerals collecting within the body within uh various tubes in our within our tubular system Keep it flowy, keep it flowy, keep it watery, peeps. Keep it tubular. Be the surfer. Open up them channels. And uh, clear away the obstructions. I also wanted to give a shout out to one of my fucking videos I did on memory. I think it's called uh, Memory. Remember the True Story something clear away the obscene ode to Nimozine, which is like a Greek goddess of memory. So yeah, I touched upon some, some cool things about water and memory and that, and, and what I wanted to finally get at here is that uh, within the pineal gland is a pool. And, uh, We don't really understand uh, just how important water is and how much memory is, is within water and potential is within water. Within your pineal gland is that uh, stargate and uh, like Yuvraj showed like with a uh, the the stargate and the like liquid portal and that's that's exactly uh what happens and what is with already within you and uh whenever you start to access uh your pineal gland and uh the waters within whenever you have distilled the waters within instilled them and cleanse them and you you can access these waters within the pineal gland. You access certain areas of the brain. You are able to actually utilize areas of the brain that you hadn't before because we we aren't we aren't taught these things, and <laughs> we're kind of uh, basically led to believe that these things are not important. That they are just kind of a uh, Science doesn't know the the purpose of, of any of these things. Uh, they're just there's it's just kind of gray matter, you know. It, it doesn't. But uh, the water, the water is within. So yeah. Um, within the water, you can, you will open up portals. And it's, it's, it's exactly like a stargate. 
we all have fucking stargates inside of us. We all have these portals. And uh, the DMT trip, uh, everyone experiences this whenever they dream. It's just on such a unconscious level for most people that they they aren't really utilizing or, or having any kind of a focused intent upon what's happening. So the more and more you clean your waters, and this is also going to... And there's no coincidence here, people, if you haven't realized this already. Whenever you recycle your waters, you, you, you're continuously cleaning yourself and cleaning, becoming more and more clear within. <clears throat> Eventually realizing what you have access to within, within you. So once you really get down deep into your pineal gland in your inner little sanctuary, your inner pool, um, within that within that little pool, you can access uh, these these other dimensions. The uh, you can call it the astral, or or basically you uh, you flip flop time space. where you uh, how you navigate it is kind of a uh, opposite of what we're, you're, you're used to navigating it or used to per, perce perceiving it as it's all about the waters So yeah, that's that's probably it for now. One last thing is whenever you experience these these deep uh, and they can be trippy things. Uh, I'm talking with and without uh, utilizing plant spirit medicine or taking things like uh, DMT or or whatever it may be. Uh, and your your subtle hmm, your perception of the subtle energies around you will become magnified and potentially even to the point where uh, you are overwhelmed and um, what I encourage everyone is don't get caught up in the pretty visuals. Stay grounded within what you are feeling within. Because that's, that's where the true magic is. Realizing what's going on within you. And listening to this. And with some plant spirit medicines, it's going to be so strong that you, are, you don't have any uh, recollection anymore of having a body. And so you're just kind of uh, along for the ride for a little bit. And that's just part of it too. That's that's whenever you get into really the deep the deeper stuff and uh uh potentially having shamans around to help guide you uh in, in certain areas, but like I said in my previous video, like uh we we are all the shamans. We are all capable of guiding ourselves um, empowering ourselves and this is this is a uh, key here it, remembering what is within us and what we have control over and not always seeking something outside of us to help help us get back there but realizing the message that that thing is giving us of what we have access to within us and this is the same with anything and everything any kind of if we want to call it a drug uh plant spirit medicine uh deep breath work uh sun gazing this is all just to remind us what is within us 
So it's up to the individual to do their own deep cleaning, to get clear, to understand, understand what has always been inside. And then your questions will start to you'll start to realize that the answers have always been there within the question. And it all comes back down to perception. And whenever you t you're able to re-perceive your question and, and see why, where that was bubbling from, where the curiosity was from, what you really wanted to know, what you were really yearning for, then the more... The more gnosis you have experienced and wisdom you have distilled within yourself, the more you will just be able to see that the answer was always right there, always for all of us, in all ways. It is a process, and most of all this stuff <laughs> it is very much easier said than done, so... Uh, just, just remember, like it, it is a process, and at times it is a roller coaster, and at times it does feel like a psycho circus merry-go-round that we are in. And you, you do have to realize your surroundings and the time period that we are in right now, and the uh, The so-called powers that run things, that uh, seem to have, you know, control over the collective. So, uh, it's just the process that we're doing right now in realizing where specifically to put our energies and focus our intent. in order to really start to not just change things, but allow, continue this flowering that's happening of consciousness and awareness. <sighs> if you want to call it an enemy, and you can definitely perceive it like that, I recommend, before you go into battle, know thy enemy. Dissolve the barriers and the perceptions of separation between you and the object, between you and the so-called enemy. We have to realize our middle grounds and that we're all more alike than anything else. And whenever we can find this foundation that we can actually start to really build from, build a lasting body of awareness and grounded growth then we can really start to speed up the process even more and, and it's going to happen anyways because it's already happening so essentially we have to find the grounding techniques we have to remember our roots and our foundations we have to remember the truth of where we came from our true past and our true ancestors and it's it's all right there in front of us and it's all up to us to see it so I mean that's that's kind of what we're doing as well is we're helping each other reminding each other inspiring each other to continue seeing the real Feel the heal, baby. Until next time, love y'all. Peace out.